Welcome. I'd like to introduce you to Rhonda Dickens. She's an outpatient psychotherapist. And Rhonda, what I'd like to ask you about today is something that I dealt with in my life because of my experiences. And I dealt with so much shame, which for me was this false identity, you know, low self-esteem. I couldn't see value inside of me. And I'm sure I am not the only one who's felt these things. Mm -hmm. What would you say to those who are feeling those things now? Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite topics Yay. because um, that is one of the things with my clients that I address first and foremost. I want to address your self-image. I want to address how you see yourself. And so I have this big mirror in my office and what I do is I sit them down in front of it and I want to know how do you see yourself right now, right? Who are you right now? And then once I see who they see themselves as right now, what their perception is, and then I want to know who do you want to see in this mirror looking back at you? What do you want to see, right? And so I go that way strategically. And the reason that I go that way strategically is because once I see who you want to see as opposed to who you are seeing, I can then go back to the root and say, well, if this is what you want to see, then why are you seeing yourself as stupid? Why are you seeing yourself as worthless? Why are you seeing yourself? So addressing the roots of those things, because a lot of us are walking around carrying titles that we didn't give ourselves. We're carrying things that victimizers gave us. We're carrying what our mother said that we would never be, what our father said that we would never do, what a teacher said that we would never become. And so we're carrying those things, and those are the makeup of what we see in the mirror every day. And so I want to address who you are authentically. Who are you? Let's take this away. Let's take everything that everybody said you couldn't be, that you begin to believe yourself. Let's take those things away and let's start dealing with the core of who you are. And then once I start dealing with the core of who my clients are, I always go back to, because, you know, what your mom said may come up in a future session. You may call yourself a name in a future session, but I'll always go back to, oh, I didn't know your mom was in the room. I thought we were talking to authentically who you are. And so one of the ways to address self-esteem is to go back to how it got off in the first place. And I think that if people took more time to do that, what they would see is majority of it comes from other people. It's not your view of yourself. It's what other people have implanted onto you. And so if other people have the power to write your story, you will never be the author of it. So let's erase some of the things that they wrote and let's rewrite it in your authenticity. And so that's what I do when it comes to self-esteem. So it's a, it's a really, really intense but fun mirroring activity, but that's pretty much it. Who are you right now? Who do you want to be? What is the root of where you see yourself right now? Because if I can find the root, I can pluck it out. And that's just pretty much that. So we have the ability to rewrite our story. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rhonda. You're welcome.